By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what you need to do in order to organically get hundreds and hundreds of leads every single week or month organically without needing to use ads. And if you want, you can take the concepts that work and then run ads behind them. And I'm going to explain all of that to you 100%. So I have a multiple seven figure business right now. As of this exact moment in time, we are not actually running ads to get results just like these. However, it's all done through this money marketing strategy that I'm going to be going through with you here today. And the reason why you may have noticed that on my own YouTube channel, for example, and for my long form content, I haven't been focusing on, on it much lately is because this strategy has brought in so many contacts into our ecosystem that if we look at these different pillars that we need to focus on, we call them these seven areas of impact. Our, least of our issues with lead, was lead generation, okay? We actually had to focus for, we kind of call this actually lead handling, all right? we needed to focus on like the lead handling sales conversion and actually making sure that we could deliver to all of those clients because this progress, this process brought us in so, so many leads. So we call it money marketing. And the reason why we call it money marketing is because it's using social media to actually make money rather than just getting a nice feeling and having like, you know, a nice massive visibility and audience. Right? So, if you want to use social media just to look good and to make yourself feel good because you're getting so many views and you're going all viral all the time, then cool. This probably isn't the video for you. But if you actually want to turn that visibility that you're getting into cash, into leads and into sales, then pay attention because what I'm going to share with you is going to allow you to do that. So I just want to go back to this though first because one, two, three, four, five, six, we forgot here to put in the actual structure and operations of the business. Okay. That these are the seven areas of impact. So right now, a lot of people, when the reason why, when they try and do any type of social media marketing, they don't do very well is because if they're getting some visibility, right, maybe you just don't actually have authority. So like, how can you actually go ahead and get client testimonials and actually have experience that people are going to pay attention to you? For example, if Alex Hormozy says something, people are going to listen to him over and above someone else that says the exact same thing because people see that he sold his business for like $47 million. So they know that he has legit business value to share, right? So again, when, if I would, if I say something, then people are going to listen to me because they can go back on my social media for literally years and years and years and see the success that I have had me speaking on the same stages as like Gary V having interviewed people like Grant Cardone anchor Nagpal is a friend of mine who sold teachable for 250 million. And in my podcast episode with him, like the beginning part of it, he says like, Oh yeah, we saw this girl on our platform who was making all this money and we reached out to her. Like he said that to me, he was talking about me. Right. And so I don't say this to try and brag or anything. I'm just saying like, when it comes to the reason why your social media may not be working right now, maybe you don't have the credibility and authority in your space. So you need to go out there and get those client testimonials because then what you start doing is going to have more of an impact. All right. Next thing, lead generation. Okay. Again, if you're just going after mining leads all the time without trying to deliver any value, then it's not going to be particularly effective. Once we solve the problem of lead generation, the next issue is the lead handling. So how are you going to actually deal with the leads, right? Let's say you do a post and using this money marketing that we'll get into in a second and it gets loads of attention. Well, how, are you sure that you're going to be able to actually DM all those people, right? Do you have a system set up to do that? Do you have an automation, right? We have this one client who has this massive YouTube following. And before she started working with us, she was sending them to like the ugliest, like lowest conversion page I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so we optimized it. And then that ensured that then when people land on that landing page, they opt in, it's simple for them. They get the freebie, goes direct to the calendar. They book the call in or the setters phone them up right after they opt into the funnel, et cetera, et cetera. Sales conversion is, are you actually like, once you go to the effort of, you know, having visibility, getting leads, handling the leads, are you actually closing them? Right? Obviously client success, retention, upsell structure. Okay. We won't get into all of that now, but the reason I bring that up is because a lot of times 
people try and say, oh my gosh, I have this one problem. And they think that their one problem is the only problem. When actually, when you really look at the seven areas of impact and you can identify which of the one of them is your real problem, it oftentimes isn't the one that you actually think it is. Like I was just on a call with someone who has more than a million followers across social media and he was about to add a, a podcast. He already has TikTok, he already has Instagram, he already has YouTube, etc. And so he wanted to add a podcast. And this is what we do as entrepreneurs. We do more of what we're good at, okay? He does not need to add a podcast. He was making only like 10K a month, right? And with a following that size, I told him like, I'm literally shocked that you're not making 50 grand a month. So his issue is that he literally just didn't even have a product, okay? And so um, I say that because I just want you to really identify what is the real problem here. But anyway, now that said, let's go into the money marketing. And if you want a training on this, the seven areas of impact, comment like seven areas of impact below and I'll, I'll, I'll make an in-depth training on this and how to analyze like which area is actually your problem because I see a lot of people struggling to figure out what to prioritize. And that's what causes a lot of issues, right? So anyways, as we go through this, please keep in mind your target audience, okay? Whenever we are making content and we're going to go into the three different CTAs that you're going to do each week, whenever we're making content, we need to bear our target audience in mind. That's obvious, right? Second thing is trim. We want to make it small. We want to condense it, delete the delete most of the words that you are adding. We wanna make it tangible. We wanna add stories, data, and marketing is all about testing. So we always have to remember to always test, okay? So how can we keep this stupidly simple? Kiss, kiss me, okay? You wanna keep it simple for yourself because like I see people trying to post short form content every day and making all these fancy YouTube videos and all this lighting, etc. I literally haven't been posting to YouTube because I've been making the barrier to entry too high for myself. And that's why I'm filming this here today because I know that I can just get this done because this is stuff that I speak about all the time. I don't need to edit this. I'm not probably not gonna bother with a thumbnail. This doesn't have to go to any one of my team. The operational drag, right, is very low. So I can just get it done. Until you can do these three things a week that I'm about to go through, the rest of it is absolutely a luxury. And so again, we need to get into the flow of this. The, it's a very low barrier to entry. So that means you can do it. And when you see what works, it means that you can uh, just do more of it in the future. And whatever works with this money marketing method, you can turn into videos in the future, okay? So let's just talk about lead generation. So most people, you don't need to focus on YouTube or a podcast unless you're using it for lead nurture, right? So like lead handling. Um, but that's a different reason. And all you need for that is like three or four client case study videos. So if you go to like my YouTube channel uh, here, you'll actually see that I've barely been posting, but one of the most recent videos was like a client case study. And the reason being is because my sales team just sends this out to people when they're trying to close somebody. So that's like more of a lead handling thing. So I'm just gonna, I, I'm just bearing this in mind right now because most people try and overcomplicate what they need to do when it comes to social media, when really most of the time, it's just about keeping it really simple. And literally this strategy here with these three things is legit all that it needs to be, okay? So let's break it down. So what you need to do is, and again, this is coming from me getting hundreds and hundreds of inbound leads, not just contacts, like, so there's a difference between a contact and a lead. A contact is someone who like opts in to, well, your DMs or just like comments on your posts or maybe you have that email address, right? That's a contact. A lead, I count a lead as someone who like is there because they're interested in what it is that you do. And they're opting into like a freebie and giving you their mobile number, right? Like actual leads, okay? So, in order to, to, to get leads like that and that volume of leads, this is literally all you need to do, okay? So one piece of copy for top of the funnel, one piece of copy which is for the middle of the funnel and one direct CTA which is designed for the bottom of the funnel. So the goal for the top of the funnel copy is credibility and visibility. So you want to basically get just like opt-ins. So people that maybe follow you or maybe even people that didn't follow you before but they just saw this post, you're basically just gonna 
post a piece of content that gets lurkers in. All right. So you have a CTA and the CTA is to DM you an outcome based thing. So let's say it's scale or shred. So you're not getting them to like try and book a sales call with you. You're getting them to just opt in. So let me give you examples. And by the way, you po you literally write one piece of copy and then you're going to post it on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, send it to your email list and also post to YouTube community. So I'll give you an example here. So if you click here, you can see this post. So I've got a really broad heading and let's see how much reach this got. Okay. That got 13,000. Oh yeah. This one got, oh my gosh. I wish I knew the exact number of DMS. This one, I actually went out with my friends because I think I, I actually personally posted this myself. I think it was on a Friday or a Saturday because I didn't, we weren't actually posting on LinkedIn too much. We were doing this strategy on all platforms except LinkedIn. I don't know why we weren't posting on LinkedIn, but then I just suddenly thought, why don't I just try copying and pasting it onto LinkedIn? So I did that. And, uh, this went wild. I was out with friends and then I, for some reason, my LinkedIn, um, gave me a notification and I have my, all of my notifications off, but I opened it and my DMs were absolutely flooded there. There was definitely more than a hundred there. And so they were all, let's see what were they messaging. Yeah. Send a message saying recording. They were sending a message saying recording. So let me just check. I'm able to just search recording to see everyone that typed it. But this was all the people that sent a message saying recording. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. So it's up until, uh, this one here. So now my sales team are just going back through talking to all those people. Crazy. But anyway, so you literally just copy and paste it over. So you can see here. Come on, Instagram, don't do this to me. Brave browser sometimes does that. But you basically just use Canva to put it onto the Instagram post here. So you can see there, that's the post I added client testimonials in here, which was really cool. And on this one, we got people to comment. Now I actually don't like doing the comment CTA because I'm a little worried about the automation there, but here, look, this one had 500 comments. So obviously in the beginning, right? Straight away, the people comment or they DM and then they're not already at lead. So then you, ha you have to give them the freebie, but when you, before giving it to them, you will say to them, Hey, um, thanks so much for reaching out what's your best email and mobile number so that we can get that over to you. Okay. Then they send that. We have it all set up in my scale systems, which is a software CRM that we've built behind the scenes, um, setting everything up. So if you'd be interested in, in learning more about that, I think we're going to be launching it for the first time around for like 99 bucks a month, but it means that you can get rid of like click funnels, uh, Calendly, uh, HubSpot, um, all, all of the stuff. It's all built in one, but anyway, um, this is not about that. This is about this, the, the money marketing. So the, we then it automates their phone number and their email into our CRM. Then my sales team can start phoning up the lead. And then what they say is, Hey, we have hundreds of hours of, of training material. So what exactly is it that you're working towards? So we can send something over that's specific to you right? Because this is giving them a freebie, but we want to make it specific and personal to them also gives them more value too. And then if they say, oh, well, I'm working towards going from selling low ticket to high ticket, we're like, oh, okay, well, we'll get a video over to you. But like, you know, I mean, well, that video is not going to give you absolutely everything you need. And it's very valuable, but it's not everything. Um, how about we actually get you on a call with a specialist from our team? Because that's exactly what we do here at Impact School. And we might be able to help you hands on. Right. And so then the setup, they obviously have a triage script. I don't go into the triage script right now. I don't have it right in front of me. This is more about the marketing strategy. Again, if you want a video on that, I'm happy to do that. But, um, so the aim in the DMS is we can do that in the DMS and we can do that on the phone. So if the person stops replying in the DMS, then we just phone them up right? It works both DMS and phone legit, the same process, whether we triage in the DMS or whether tri we triage on the phone, same thing. People overcomplicate it all the time. And then from there we send them the freebie. Okay. Or we set them on the direct sales call. We don't set them to a 15 minute call. It's just directly to a one hour call with a closer on our team at impact school. So 
people again overcomplicate this because they'll get someone in in their dms or give them a freebie and then they just give them the freebie and then nothing like one of my friends is one of the biggest media buyers like biggest famous media buyers in the industry and uh i saw him do this tweet and i actually called him out about it after we spoke about it and and he was like oh my gosh yeah i wasted so many leads but he did this tweet and it got i don't know 70 70 retweets or something and so that meant that all those 70 people got the freebie, right? He sent it to them. But then after that, I said, well, what did you do to follow up with all those people? And he said, what do you mean? I was like, why do you not have a specialist setter who's going back after those people, letting them know, hey, while this freebie's great, like we have a bunch of other free resources. So what exactly is it that you're working towards so I can get my team to send you over something that's specific to you? He could have just sent that message and then had loads of replies to then book them into calls. Okay. Actually, on top of that, what he said to me was, yeah, I just sent them the link to the Google doc. I was like, why did you not ask them for their phone number and their email first, dude, you're one of like the best marketers in the world, but this is sales, not marketing. Okay. So I'm now talking about sales, but we came here to talk about marketing. So I need to stay focused. Okay. Anyway, so literally just copied and pasted the same thing. Oh, and by the way, copied and pasted the exact same thing to stories as well. We just took like an various images and copied the text on top of the image. Um, you don't just share whatever this is to the stories. You literally copy this and put it onto the story separately. Same on the Facebook stories, posted it on Facebook as well. Let's see here. I don't know why this is doing this so weird, but this one got 250 comments. And because this said about like, I don't have only fans, investors or daddy's money. I use that photo on purpose. Again, people will say, Oh, well, Lauren, you can do that just because you're a girl. I mean, dudes, you are always flexing your Lambos and the chicks that you're partying with. So, Hey, let me have my, let me have my, uh, let me have my fun. Okay. Anyway, same thing on Twitter. Let's see what happened on Twitter here. If it blocks it again. Okay. I don't think this one did as good. Yeah, it did okay. I mean, I don't have a very big following on Twitter. We got a decent amount of DMs, but it was nothing It was nothing crazy. And you, you'll notice sometimes some things pop on some platforms and not others. But anyway, my aim on this one was to get top of the funnel, new people into my ecosystem. With the email list, this one crushed straight on the calendar. Actually, in total, this ended up getting more than 50 sales calls because since I made this, there was even more trickling in from um, last week. So this was really cool. And then posted it to YouTube community as well. Apparently, this is doing really well. But I mean, I haven't really been posting on YouTube, so I can't really comment on that. But let's look at the tips for the top of the funnel. The broader, the better. Okay, so really really broad hooks are really really good so i made 5.5 million after tax last year and traveled to 12 countries in 12 months for fun i don't have only fans investors or daddy's money here's how i make millions running a business i love so that could actually also be middle of the funnel but because it's like a very broad heading it kind of lures people in um i became a millionaire by 23 without only fans i use that again um because of my habits. This one is actually much more broad. So it did even better, but this one got much lower quality leads because the CTA was, this was before I, yeah, look, the CTA was just about getting daily affirmations. Whereas this CTA was all about getting a recording on how other people can run a business as good as I can. So that's a really good lead quality from, for us. So again, when they first message they or when they first message or comment, they are contacts, not leads. But then obviously through our DM sales process and through our setters, we can turn them into leads. Okay. So these are a few tips, like what would get max reach in the general population's mind? And then the points within the thread showcase value, but again, keep it simple. Like I see people trying to overcomplicate their threads all the time. I was doing some reviews of some of my clients <laughs> copy and it's like this massive jargon. I'm like, guys, literally act as though a 10 year old is going to read this. What's that Hemingway app? I actually just suddenly remembered Hemingway copywriting. There's actually this thing in here that can 
let you know what grade level it's gonna yeah there we go so use this and make it hella simple and then at the end thank them for reading and following and you want to put a cta in the middle in the end so you can see here for example i put a cta on the third swipe and then also at the very end you want to be doing that too don't just have one cta at the end so it's like your checklist so that's basically top of the funnel okay now this is going to get more people into your world more people seeing you more people knowing about you the second one is for the middle of the funnel now where people get confused is that they make the middle of the funnel still really really tactical okay so if for example you have a media buying agency all right and you make some long thread about how to optimize conversion rates blah, 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 blah. well who else is going to read that other media buyers okay not your ideal client so what's your ideal client going to read they're going to read something that is way dumbed down and simplified so look at this i spoke at a mastermind alongside gary v most of my audience and my dream clients will know who gary v is and they will be in masterminds or they'll know what a mastermind is so everyone was making one to 100 million a year again that's that's the desire of my ideal client they're not brand new beginners people that we work with for the most part are doing more than like the very lower end like 15k a month um they all have six figure businesses or they have big audiences that they just aren't really tapping into. So that's our ideal client. So either they love like Gary Vee and his big audience, or they already have a de decent sized business that fits in this criteria. So here are the top five lessons Gary taught me. This is really good for middle of the funnel because people will want to know what lessons he's teaching these types of sophisticated people. So anyways, and then in, in the comment, in the post thread, uh, basically, again, just goes into value. So let's look at the examples here. Okay. The CTA is info or star. And the reason being is because you're going to get them to directly message you to become a client. So this is easier for me to show you as an example. Um, this one got 20,000, which is really good. I invested 100K into a startup. Six months later, I had nothing. I invested 100K into my own business. Six months later, I had blah, blah, blah. So... The reason why this does good is because my ideal client, one of the biggest objections we always get, it's not really an objection to be honest, it's just a fact that they've been burnt in the past. So we know that anyone that is potentially going to work with Impact School, they've been burnt in the past. So we need to relate to that. And it's true. I mean, let's be honest, we've all been burnt in the past. So um, I just talk about all the different things, blah, blah, blah. And look, send me a message saying info. So I put that midway through so we can show you what we do. So me a message saying info. Okay. So this one, actually, we got a lot of people saying info. Um, there were people commenting here as well. I realized we didn't get back to them yet. So we should actually DM all these people because anyone that comments, you want to reach out to them as well. Anyways, um, Instagram, we haven't yet posted this. Normally we post it all on the same day. I don't know why we didn't post that already, um, but Facebook, why is Facebook being so silly today? I don't know. Let's find it. Do, 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 do. But yeah, we literally just do it all on the same day. Um, ah, here we go. Yeah, look at this one. 46 comments. A lot of people saying info. And there was even more DMs because people accidentally comment when they're meant to DM. <laughs> so you have to keep an eye. Okay, we've got it on Twitter here as well. Oh yeah, and look, I realized after I tweeted this, people like, it's really crazy because even if the number is bigger, like actually, the really weird thing is that if you make it smaller, but more specific, people respond better. So you can see here, I just, I just changed it to like 1.8 plus instead of directly two. I don't know why that is, but it just is a fact. And that's just a tangible thing that I noticed was different. Email went crazy. Um, posted to YouTube wasn't really that much from it. Okay. Another example. 
My friend sold his sold his business for two hundred and fifty million. Here are six lessons. DM me interview and I'll send you the video podcast for free. This one went crazy. Forty two thousand, and we got so many messages from this. What did they have to message interview? Let's have a look. And by the way, in uh, LinkedIn hasn't been a main platform for us for a long time. Oh, she's messaging about a job interview. But yeah, I mean, it won't. Okay, so then look, we actually posted on Facebook. We tested a couple of things. So look, my friend sold his business. This one got more than 100 comments. Whereas this one, I don't know why it just flopped on Facebook. <laughs> so weird. But remember, it's all about testing. So let's look at the tips. So sharing your client success works really well. Problem, amplify, story, testimonial, and offer, which is a call to action. Get viewers to see themselves in your client's shoes. Tactical breakdown, like why should they listen to you? Don't use industry jargon. CT is the middle of the end. Opinion, which is controversial, but which is why you're successful in your niche. Those do really well too. So for example, the one where I was talking about how I was investing. Um, bottom of the funnel example. My client just closed a 105k deal in the DMs. Zero sales calls needed, follow and reply. So yeah, basically just a direct CTA. These do really, really well. And you want to do one of these once a week as well. So essentially sticking to doing one piece of long form co copy for the top of the funnel once a week, one piece of short, com short form copy. Sorry, one piece of, <laughs> I recorded for too long now. One piece of, top of the funnel, long form copy, and one piece of middle of the funnel, long form copy, which you post everywhere. One of them has a CTA to get a freebie. One of them has a CTA to become a client. This one, when they DM, you literally just ask them, okay, great, what's your best phone number so I can get someone from my team to give you a call? They then send their mobile number, then you have it. Then you're like, okay, great. Actually, which time zone are you in so that we can make sure that the best person from our team gets in contact? And then they tell you, and then you say, okay, does this time or this time work on this day? And then they say yes, and then you get them to fill out an application, right? So you wanna make sure that they're actually gonna be qualified. Obviously you can also just send them a direct link, but we found that if you just send them the direct link to book, then they might just ghost you. So you don't really want them to ghost you. So this is better. And uh, yeah, that's literally it. So remember, remember your ideal client, make them feel their emotions in your copy, trim it down, make it tangible with stories, data, real numbers, and then test, 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 and just do them once a week. If you need me to give you more direction here, do this one on a Tuesday and this one on a Thursday. Simple. And then this one can go, let's say, on a Friday. Okay, just keep it super simple. People way overcomplicate how they do things. But writing these long pieces of copy, you can study and look at my social media. And uh, this is, oh, and I forgot to mention about the ads. Yeah, so then when you see what's doing really, really well, then you can just run like a $5 a day. You can go into the business manager on whatever platform, and then you can just amplify the ad spend. Um, that's what we've done with, We've ran it, we've ran ads on this one. Um, we're running ads, I think it's on this one. Okay, these ones crush. And then all the extra content in between is an added bonus. I have an agency that I pay a lot of money every month to do all of that other content. It's not just one of those homozy style <laughs> agencies. It's, a, it's actually the original agency. That's added bonus content on top. But if you cannot right now stick to doing these three posts every single week, then I strongly, strongly recommend doing anything else on social media until you can do this consistently. Because then once you do increase your reach, you literally have, as someone starts scrolling your profile, ways for people to opt in very, very clearly. And if you don't have a freebie, okay, you can legit just make a 30 minute video like this one with something that you're really knowledgeable about and just keep pushing people towards that. 
this is what we are pushing people towards. And we'll change the copy on this landing page. But this is a VSL that explains how, and again, we're going to make this way clearer what this actually means. But it's ultimately the five phases to go from zero to 20K a month, to 100K a month, to 200K a month, to a multi-million dollar high ticket business. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll make this clearer, but you know, this is brand new because before we had a bunch of different freebies, we've literally just got rid of all of them, put them away, and we're making this way more simple. Yeah, so that um, we can just always use this. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know. Make sure to subscribe um, onto my YouTube channel and you can follow all my socials. You saw them all already. It's just my name. And uh, yeah, well, that was 30 minutes of content. So um, I like this type of content, actually. Hopefully you like it too, because this is low barrier to entry to me. It means I can share a bunch of value. So um, yeah, grateful to serve you.